but today we're just going to be showing you a bait presentation for snapper because as you'd know we're coming up to snapper season firstly I'd just like to mention these new hooks um, they're really good uh, they're size 3 0 with Lumo um, paint on them so they glow in the dark the reason we're using 3 0s this season is because they're so fine all it needs is the fish to just touch it with its mouth and it'll, it'll get hooked they're just so sticky on the bait out the other night and we caught many good sized pinkies and we didn't miss a fish we caught a heap of pinkies and these hooks just worked really good on them and they've worked good on big fish as well so we can catch little fish and big fish on these small hooks so here we've got the single circle hook with the fly on it untied so you just buy these separately in a pack the different baits you can get out of a squid tube so we first you got the ring and all you want to do with this is this works perfect with the 3 0 snail and you're just gonna pin it through the middle and go through but not through the whole tube and then come back out on the same side and just sit it in there like that and then yeah when a snapper touches that it's just so sharp look and then the other hook will just come around to the top and just pin it straight through there and that'll just sit like that let the fish hook themselves and this is really simple you just pin it through the top once and that'll just swing in the water like that right. really important to make sure your hooks are baited really well because it doesn't matter if you've found the fish and you know where the fish are um, if you don't have a good bait presentation you're not going to catch the fish so you just got your one hook through the middle like that and again with your top hook you're going to want to come through the top same as the ring and just pin it like that. Works well in Port Phillip and Western Port. Um, and that'll just sit really well in the tide. Yeah. Now we've got our silver whiting. They're a really popular bait in Port Phillip and we're just gonna show you how. It's the, the same with any fish bait really. Pilchards, um, small yakka, anything really. Any small profile of a fish bait. The fish most of the time hit it from the head. So you're gonna wanna have as much hook exposure in the in the head section as you can so first you're just going to want to put this through the gill or the head doesn't matter and these are frozen so so that just goes through there comes back out make sure you've got no scales on it then from here it's really important to loop the line over and put it around the tail yeah and do that two times with the silver whiting. If you can use unweighted baits, use unweighted baits. But most of the time on my boat, I'm using eight rods. And to manage to get eight rods to sit in a certain spread, you need a little sinker. Otherwise, that you're always untangling rods. So, although I don't like using a, a little bull sinker, I use a size one. So if we pretend that's our salmon fillet or yakka fillet or whatever you want to call it, all you need to do here basically the same as the squid strip try try to measure with this one try to measure out your snail so you're always going to have one hook sitting so you're always going to have one hook sitting around there and then one so you can pin it through the top it sits in reverse doesn't it yeah so if it's in the current the big end should be at the back yeah so same with as exact same as the squid ring just pin that one through like that straight up there and that basically just plays as a half hitch sort of thing so it just just keeps it you know nice and straight and that yep so that that'd probably actually work for snapper and pork eh? this is a proven really good bait for a big snapper on the ultra rig and the flatties can't really get this off so make sure when you're cutting it you leave a bit of meat sitting on the back of the silver whiting or king george whiting whatever you want to use and then you just pin it through the bottom lip first, through the top, and that makes it really hard for fish to get it off. Yeah, it's a great bait for Yeah, and that's a really effective bait. Yeah. It's got our chunk of salmon or yakka, whatever you're using. And it's really important to make sure your hook, your bait's not spinning in the water because the fish isn't gonna eat it if the bait's currently spinning. And just pin it through, through that here, and it will just, it won't spin, it'll just go up and down in the current like that.